Hey Aquarius, and welcome to your 2019 year ahead forecast. This is Sky here to channel in some great astrology, tarot, and intuitive, hopefully optimistic messages for you in this incredible year of 2019. I really feel like it's great and wonderful for Aquarius. I think that um, how much better things can be and how much more stable and easy and fun things can be in 2019. Um, 2018 for you was... Um, Pretty unexpected, I think, you know, having had Jupiter and Scorpio squaring whatever you had in um, Aquarius and, you know, likewise having all of that odd lunar and uh, solar eclipse activity in Leo and Aquarius, as we've just had one um, uh, the other day, actually, you'll, you can click the top right hand corner to see the blood wolf super eclipse that we had, which would have also um, been a huge deal for Aquarius. But coming out on the other side of all of that, um, how much you've changed and how much you see new opportunities coming in and new capabilities and just a new type of environment coming around i feel to be uh you know the, the main message for aquarius it's like there's a new environment emerging and there's a new um connecting point for you to really take advantage of you know finding a new vantage point within it all um becomes such a huge concept for aquarius you know how are you feeling though coming into this year um it, it'll probably still feel a little bit like 2018 did until we get to march but i feel like aquarius truly is a sign that can really sit with themselves and see um where the burnout was, see where the, you know, difficult transition was, and understanding how they can avoid those more difficult aspects of what they went through in the future by really maintaining a sense of stability and security here and now. Um, I will say, Aquarius, that when I'm trying to get into your energy, it does feel just a slight bit inhibited and a slight bit blocked. It's like maybe you've felt too accessed by people or you felt too taken by people um and you might have kind of put walls up or you might have kind of been um you know wanting to just be for yourself and not really be that accessible by many people i feel like aquarius can move into this year of 2019 with everyone around them not really knowing what their truth is or not really knowing what the you know goals are or what purpose they're serving. So I think one of the most incredible things to embrace coming directly into 2019 for you, Aquarius, is to not be afraid of your truth and to not be afraid of voicing what that is to other people. I think that you can be a really vocal sign this year. So I am feeling like the throat chakra. I'm feeling a lot of transmutation and I'm feeling a lot of understanding that you're able to communicate to people. So I do feel that 2019 is a year that does definitely demand you to speak and to communicate and to let the people around you, especially the people that you love, um, understand and know what what it's really about and like what what you're doing like what your purpose is right now because I feel like there's a shift in purpose and I feel like there's a shift in equilibrium that is so strong for you um, that it's almost like you can't communicate it and it's it's, it's hard to um, it's almost hard to withstand like how much you know that things are changing so you know having that feeling of like a change or having that feeling of something suddenly becoming different um, that can be an incredible feeling to have, but can you channel that and communicate that in a way that things don't become chaotic? I feel that to be one of your main uh, challenges this year because your planet Uranus, your ruling planet, is changing signs. You know, it's been retrograding on the cusp of Aries and Taurus for a very long time now, and um, it is finally getting placed into Taurus, and it is not going to go back into Aries. So there is a sense of you turning over a new leaf just because your own outer planet has um, done so as well. So you could see that embracing more earthy um, aspects of being. So like, um, you know, more connectedness, more connection to the earth, more connection to um, the physical representation of your life, you know, like new homes or new um, cars, new, new things that make you feel more grounded and more secure, really having a sense of groundedness and security and stability in your life, more money, more opportunities could be very possible and very easy for you and encouraged one way or another to feel grounded and to feel um you know not too in your head with things not too even psychically connected and that might be one of the reasons why i also feel a bit of a block in your energy when it comes to like what i'm doing is because maybe the emphasis isn't so psychic right now maybe the emphasis is more physical and, and that can change it it's all about what you want but i do feel that aquarius really has to get their body together and their environment and all of their physical tangible surroundings you know we also have saturn and capricorn uh pluto and capricorn there's a big earth energy movement happening this year um so you you will see that uh encouragement in structures encouragement in routine encouragement in really enjoying and finding like optimism within that as well 
Um, some of you could be going back to school, I feel like, with Jupiter and Sagittarius and that making the sextile angle to you. Um, there's a lot of opportunity for higher learning. There's a lot of opportunity for philosophizing or, um, you know, finding higher meaning in what is happening to you. Okay, Aquarius, and I apologize. I realize I just had the wrong mic working, so um, I am here on the good mic now. Um, apologies for the technical difficulties. Um, and that, that could be a lot of what happens to you this year as well. It's like all of a sudden there's a change in quality or all of a sudden there's a change in the way that your voice sounds or the way that your communication works. I, I always take little things like this um, as a sign. So, you know, the way that people hear you and the way that people understand you could be very similar to what's happened in this video. You know, it starts out being kind of more rough and lower quality, but there's like an evolution and all of a sudden, like, it's like there's a snap and the um, communication becomes better and, and the understanding becomes better. So I feel like the goal for this year, Aquarius, um, taking the astrology into account is to learn in a higher way how to communicate your truth within the solidified and structured subsets of your current life. And in, within that, there's like a lot of humor and there's a lot of like fun and a lot of easygoingness that I feel also has to be embraced as well. Um, otherwise, astrologically, you know, not too aspected Aquarius. Um, it's not, there's not too much heaviness coming in. Um, you know, I, I'm just thinking about what else is in the sky for you. Um, not a lot of fixed energy this year, um, you know. Jupiter's in Sag, Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn, Neptune in Pisces, uh, Uranus is in Taurus, yes, so for those of you born at the Aquarius Capricorn cusp, you will have the square of Uranus. That should be quite revitalizing, though. I would interpret that as, you know, having a lot more energy again, and um, really wanting to make changes in your life. It could be a bit um, of a rebel type of energy coming in for you. So if you're at that Capricorn Aquarius cusp or at low degrees of Aquarius, um, this is a good time to make a change or a good time to have a sense of something new coming into your life. Okay, and if you guys saw from any of the other videos, I am channeling in two concepts for each sign. The first one for Aquarius that I got was understanding your capability towards transmutation. So understanding like how much people ask you to um, help them in a difficult situation. How much pressure is there on you to take something bad and turn it good? Aquarius is such an alchemical sign. Um, you guys are leaned upon to do a lot of, you know, relationship alchemy for other people, you know, being a peacekeeper, being a peace generator. Um, and I want you to understand how much capability you actually have in that and how you can maybe channel that energy in a way that, um, works more for you? How can you transmute some of your own difficult situations into something really benevolent and really abundant? Okay, and the second concept that I have for Aquarius is allowing genuine connection to fill your time. It sounds kind of um, simple, but um, I think that the connections haven't been so genuine lately for Aquarius. It's like you've been, you know, socializing or connecting with people who just aren't really right for you. So, um, finding more genuine appeal in your life, finding more things that are real and genuine and authentic, you know, not fake and false connections that look like they bring you something in the long run. Uh, this is such a time to feel grounded and connected with the people that are in your life. So um, enjoying the processes of even making new relationships, new friendships um, can be so rewarding for you in this year, for sure. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling the tarot cards, Aquarius, um, perhaps giving you a bit of ASMR here as I shuffle. Um, I'm just looking for a an overarching theme for you for the year of 2019. I'm just shuffling, um, seeing what pops out for you. And this is basically just going to give you some guidance and understanding about how to navigate, how to um, look at this year and what could be coming up that could be expected or unexpected. Okay, two cards for you. Um, King of Wands and Justice. So not being, not being as concerned about fairness this year. So King of Wands to me says that you are um, being very fiery, very optimistic, very um, strong, very yang-oriented energy. Um, and it says to me also that you are being um, accepting and kind, like really treating matters with kindness and really treating matters with openness and enjoyment. So enjoying your life, thriving in a very sovereign type of way. Um, and with that being connected to justice as well, I feel that it's saying to not let matters of unfairness cramp that need for optimism, that need for, um, you know, again, thriving. Allow yourself to thrive despite what seems fair, despite what seems um, to be being deliberated right now. And then, of course, justice can always just mean that... Um, you know, the right thing ends up happening. So 
um, you know, like justice is served, you get um, what you deserve. Like you will see that people get what they deserve in this year. So that's another reason I think that some of these concepts about like, um, you know, genuine connections and, um, you know, capabilities towards transmutation. I think that that's why that's coming up is because it's important for you to be operating from your ethics and operating from your virtues and morals this year because it's very easy to see direct consequences toward, um, you know, being too fake or trying to achieve a, uh, some type of ends with some kind of dishonest means. It's not something that works well for Aquarius this year. So you'll find much more happiness, much more reward in grounded honest and genuine connection with people who you actually enjoy being around. Um, and, and as I'm saying, you know, for Aquarius, your planet is changing signs. There's a lot of changes. There's a lot of like new desires you might feel. There's a lot of new um, opportunities to thrive so much. And I think that having Jupiter and Sag during the time that Uranus is changing signs is so benevolent for you because it says to me, you can have fun enjoying this change. You can have fun enjoying um, a completely new chapter that you've never experienced before. It feels vastly new and viscerally perfect if you allow it to be um, really, really beautiful. Um, I so hope that this reading resonated for you all, Aquarius. Um, sort of short and to the point, I feel like that's what your energy needs. There's not a lot of time to waste. There's not a lot of, um, you know, really time needed spent in like metaphysical matters. Like it's great, you know, we're always connected to the metaphysical or to the psychic, but really I feel that Aquarius needs grounded real physical connection. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you guys would like more clarification, I hope you'll get the chance to check out my 2019 Year Ahead Meta Companion. Um, I go month by month and I give a tarot card for each month so you can get more insight into what's going on and more insight into the this year as a whole. I also talk about general healing strategies and, um, you know, just some general transits and how they filter through the collective. You can click the center of your screen to find that now. As always, your likes, comments, and subscribes make my day. I'm wishing you so much love and light. Talk to you soon, Aquarius. Bye.